Move what you want. Say it again. But the actual no, girl. Girl. Wait, so all we do is bite it, right? Boo what you want? Okay. Mary, you want a boy or a girl? Alright, hold on. Y'all gotta bite at the same time. Count three. One, two, three. What is it? Hello, beautiful people. I am the one and only Mary T. <laughs> Welcome. A little introduction, real quick, <laughs> before we get into the video. I am early. <laughs> 32 weeks. I know my hair looking a little messed up because I just woke up. I'm trying to give y'all a realistic day in a life type of video. What I'm about to do today, hopefully, I'll put a list up here right now. You know, a little checklist. Or what we're accomplishing today. We're about to go eat some breakfast before we start getting ready. You okay? <laughs> I heard it too early the other I didn't hear it. Boy, that's so big shit. They finally finna come fix this roof. They like, look at this. They got a big hole in our goddamn kitchen. I don't even feel safe bringing my food around here. I feel like a spider or something. I'm gonna drop it in there. Y'all like these ones or the the sweet ones? These ones is real cool. I had to make a um, smoothie bowl for my baby. my sea moss that my sister be making me for my baby it's almost gone i think i'm gonna try um pineapple again or maybe blueberry i take two teaspoons i don't know if my family trying to confuse me or not Nah, they, they, they trying to, they make if they no but what if they trying to confuse me what if it's just a mind trick You we speculating that it was a boy before, one. but like after they gave us the gender of the doctors, they they just kept saying boy or he. Yeah. So, Thank you. they gave me a pink dress. So what if the baby is a girl? Cause the only options they gave me was pink or white. I think they trying to play my tricks. See, it was one time. <laughs> It was just time where like we were speculating it. So it's like when we was over like my grandma crib after we got the uh, ultrasound and stuff. <laughs> went to the went to her grandma crib. They all to go look at it. And we just heard, I knew it. I'm like, yeah. No, he was they listening. Heard, and her grandma came out the room. No, he to, was to, listening in on, couch, on the conversation. The couch, they went in the room. Sat so down on the it couch could be like, and she started saying he 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 I'm like, yeah. And we just sitting there looking at each other. I'm like, <laughs> he trying to blame my grandma, but my grandma, she was just trying to hint, maybe. He seen it. But I was looking at him like, and then my sister, she she looked like she was kind of upset. She left out the apartment and sat in the car. I don't know. If grandma years. gave us the gender for her, but it's okay. Either way, it's okay. I'm gonna still be surprised at the end of the day. What'd you say? I'm gonna be surprised too. If it's a girl, 
I just think it's a boy. It's what right. if it's a girl? What if we surprised at birth? Mm -hmm. Just have I haven't seen any girl things like what the early gifts that we got. I've never seen any girl things. My sister got baby a lion toy. That is a boy thing. Girl like look, girl like lions. Yes, I do. You don't got no. I'm a lion. You I love lions. You I want to meet one. You ain't got no lion stuffy. So because sorry. I love unicorns, but I never said that I don't love lions either. Have you ever have when you was a baby? Have you ever had a lion? Um, Fluffy. I had a red bear named Barry. Count. Yes, it does. Okay. It was you a Valentine's. A bear. You said a bear. That's not a lion. Exactly. But lions really comment. Lions are not just to one specific gender. Well, it's mainly for small people, like for boys. <clears throat> You'll never see a. No, it's not. I ain't never seen no. I would. I would give I my baby. No, I ain't never seen no baby girl with. No lion outfit on. Like, I would give my baby a lion toy. It's not like a specific gender to a freaking lion. It's a lion. Now a dinosaur. That's specific. Oh. No matter what, no matter what dinosaur. A dinosaur. Is, and no, no matter what dinosaur. Think about it. No matter if you put a lion on this side, a lion and a dinosaur on this side, and a pony and a horse on this side. But a lion and a horse is like, That's they're not I'm, really gender specific. But most people will be like, okay, this lion and the dinosaurs is for a boy and this and that is for a girl. How are they going to tell no you what you give to no your matter, baby? No matter what dinosaur it is, no. they're going to automatic, automatic think. No, automatically girl. think that if you give some, a, a baby a dinosaur toy. They're going to think it's for a boy. It, yes, but it's not a dinosaur, it's a lion. They're going to think it's for a boy. No. No. We just got to figure out about it. When it comes today, we got to see. <laughs> I'm excited. And she folded it up and put it in the whole thing and scribbled it out. Whether it was a boy or girl. So we couldn't see it. I didn't know they did that. I just, I just thought they just pissed in the cup and just had to just figure out the gender. He came to the appointment. You think it's a girl? But the lady, she scribbled it out so I couldn't see the gender. So, yeah. To or figure out the baby gender. I was trying to record, like, it's like, so no record, you can't record it. The sound was literally right there. She said, you can't record in here. I'm like, why well, I can't record my baby? Pop, 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 policy. Policy. Alright, we're gonna cut. <laughs> it is currently 1.30. I'm about to start my makeup. She did that. I'm gonna hear a good deal soon. It's doing good. Is that a Playboy cotton? <laughs> the reveal is at 4.30. It's about to be 1.30, so I feel like a appropriate time to start my makeup right now. Well, it's right now because it takes me forever, especially if I'm doing some eyeshadow. Yeah. And we gonna do my hair last because I don't want my curls to fall too soon. I wanna get some pictures before my curls fall. Let's get started. I think I should fix my lace first though. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about me. See, this is why I keep forgetting stuff. My name is Mary. M-A-R-Y. I got my name from my grandma. Her name was Mary. I used to love my name once my mom told me the meaning of it, but in school, little kids would pick on me because my name was Mary. <laughs> it was always Mary had a little lamb or something about my eyesight, how big my eyes is. Around middle school time, I really learned to appreciate my name because 
I think it was something special. Even though, you know, most people look at my name as common because it, it is common, but you know, the meaning behind it is different for everybody, I'm guessing. But I really do love that named after my grandma because I'll always have a piece of my grandma with me. I'm 20 years old. My birthday is in July, the very end of July, July 30th. I'm big Leo. I turn 21 next year, July. We, we finna party, but not too much because you know, I got a baby. I really like school, hence why I didn't go to college. At first, I was going to go to college for engineering. I started to find myself a little bit more. I realized that that wasn't really my dream. My dream wasn't to go to college, you know, have some college bestie, get my degree, and find an engineering job and do it for the rest of my life. I'm gonna start on my makeup. I was really just looking at what am I talented at? Cause I'm really good at math, I'm really good at science, and I really love building stuff and you know, creating. I figured at a young age, <laughs> around like, 11th, 10th grade, that I wanted to become an engineer because they make some good money and I can provide for my family while doing something that I love to do. But I just decided that my dreams wasn't to do something that I didn't want to do for the rest of my life, pretty much for money. <laughs> and that's not everything. At the end of the day, being happy and deciding what's best for your life is great. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't be going out here, you know, quitting your jobs and um, quitting your jobs because Mary said following your dreams is the goal. But making a way out is what I mean. Like doing something that you love while having a stable income and providing sta stability in your life so that eventually you won't need that stable job that was once your only income. But yeah, I went a little off topic. I moved around a lot as a kid. Not really a social person. Like I never really experienced the party life either way. I'm supposed to be doing my makeup and y'all just let me talk to y'all. Off the topic of, you know, moving around, traveling, being an introvert, we gonna get into how I started doing my hair and makeup and, you know, what made me want to start um, being a content creator. I love creating. Like, just looking at, just looking at your vision and then make it into video form and then editing it to some bomb music or like, you know, a good vibe. It's like, <laughs> it's perfect to me. I always had this, um, the skills to start. I just never really, you know, thought I could, which is, you know, the opposite of what people tell you to do when you actually want to become a content creator. They tell you to just start and this is me just starting and i hope y'all you know enjoy watching me because i enjoy creating i lost my train of thought but my sister called they finna bring my dress i can't wait to see what dress i got because my sister picked it out i couldn't really decide between two dresses but whichever one it is it's gonna be so cute I be trying to put a little color in my face because I be looking like a zombie sometimes. A zombie. Oh, have y'all been watching The Walking Dead? I just started watching The Walking Dead. I feel like I'm definitely really, really late to the party because, you know, I don't like um, zombie shows. I feel like I'll manifest it into the world for some reason. 
I don't know why I feel like I got like the powerfulest manifestation of powers. <laughs> But when I watch those videos and I like lay down and go to sleep, I be saying some wild stuff. Like, what if that happened right now? Dang, I need to stop thinking about that or it's gonna happen. Like, girl, you do not control the world. You don't got the zombies in your own brain. You can't just unleash them. But that's why I be feeling like, I feel like I can unleash them if I keep thinking about what if, <laughs> man. All right, but um, I started doing wigs, man. I started doing wigs when, when I was in high school, I think. I got my, my mom got me my first wig. It was a tea part. Synthetic, wait, was it synthetic? Yeah, it was synthetic. She said she was not giving us no, um, no blends, no human hair until we learn how to put them things on and take care of them. Remember, um, putting that thing on with some gossipy glue, the black one. <laughs> you know, that's that's real back when they first came out with that black gossipy glue. That that thing was sticking and it looked real good. It looked real natural to me because that was my first wig that I put on. But if I look back, but the quality, I had an Android, so you can't really tell the quality. So the wig probably look real good. It probably look way better than, you know, the wigs I'd be doing now. I don't know about that one, but yeah, that was, that was a little far. But we went to the hair store, happy as heck, picking out our own wig. She, she gave us two wigs, I think. I had a, a blue bob, blue snack bob with black black roots and i laid them and i look so i look i thought i looked so cute <laughs> i didn't style it or nothing i just threw that thing on and brushed it <laughs> yeah i think i was a freshman in high school and i'm still learning how to you know i'm still learning the tricks and tips on how i can make my wig look so much more realistic i really hate bleaching knots because i haven't tried it but I'm pretty sure if I do try um, to bleach my knots, my wigs is gonna be looking like, <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. I record that the first time I bleached my knots on here, but I want it to be like an educational video, or maybe it might be like a part of my vlog of me um, bleaching my knots. I started learning how to do my makeup in eighth grade. I used to do that little um, clear mascara look with the glitter um you know it was a double-sided thing clear mascara and then it was a little um glitter thing that you could just oh it was a glitter eyeliner yeah that's what it was i thought i was the ish when i put that stuff on like i thought it really it really drastically changed until this one girl that i was in high school with she said she was asking me for some mascara and i was like oh here you go i got some i got some mascara Girl, she, she straight up said, clear mascara don't work. That's what she said. She said, clear mascara don't even make a difference. Like, you're just putting it on your eyelids for no reason because it's not working. <laughs> now they on. I was like, dang, do it work for real? Like, am I tripping? And then I really looked at it afterwards and I was putting it on one day. I'm like, let me see if this stuff actually worked. I didn't know what mascara was for. All I knew was it just needed to go on my eyelashes. Looked like it made a difference to me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> just in there playing with makeup. I don't know how to do my eyeshadow. Like how y'all be doing it. All them designs. It's 2023 and I don't know how to do my eyeshadow. Hold on, my mom takes me. All of it is going to be a part of this journey because yeah. We gonna put on the eyeshadow together and learn together. If it's some people out there like me, because boo, I'm just not learning how to put on my um my makeup right. It really do take years when you're looking for improvement because I've been doing my makeup in here for years, but 
you know, with time, I wasn't really into the getting my hair done, getting my hair braided. I used to braid my hair. I used to have my mom braid my hair. I used to have my sister braid my hair. Everything that I wanted to do, I learned to do it myself so that I wouldn't have to pay money for it. <laughs> because what is bad about learning a skill that you can use over and over and won't have to spend money on it ever again? That's just my idea of it because yeah, and you see how I'm doing my hair now. You better start doing your hair, girl. I don't want to hear nothing about it. But you know, with time comes the skill because some people say that it really depends on if you're creative or you know how good you are. But you can really learn a lot just from trying to improve it if you're not trying to improve your makeup and you're still doing the same stuff that's getting you bad results then obviously you're not going to have the skill i was going to do some eyeshadow but my lashes that i'm putting on is real big and i don't know if i want to do that because it's already like 2 30 and i need to do my hair Look at me thinking I know time management and still running late. I gotta find some shoes to put on. And y'all see how I don't put too much makeup, too much concealer on this part of my nose because my nose is shaped like I don't, it looks weird when I put, when I make it straight because my nose is in and then it like goes out because of my, this part and this part. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like wide and then wide. It's small and then wide. So we're insinuating. Is that the word? It's gonna be the word today. We aren't we're doing that to make the nose look, you know, like a little cute button nose. And just admiring our um natural nose because yeah, it's beautiful. I can really talk to y'all all day, but I need to get this over with. So I'm gonna come back. Y'all, we have. Okay, uh oh. We gonna do a lip that matches with this because I don't know if I wanna do a new lip. I think I'm gonna do a new lip. All right, y'all. So my makeup is done finally. It's three thirteen right now. I need to put some makeup on this lace so we can do that while my hot tool is heating up. So excited. Uh, oh my gosh. And I can't wait. Who tell me I can't do my makeup? Do you see that? Ah! See, that's what I be talking about. I was telling y'all on TikTok that I literally burned myself. Every single time, well not every time, but almost every time I um, curl my hair. Like I feel like my hot tools be having something against me or something. I gotta find some shoes y'all, oh my gosh. That hot pink dress, what you think I'm gonna wear? Some Uggs. Yeah, that'd be fine, I'm just <laughs> I'm just fucking out. Not like an hour in a cool couple minutes to finish getting ready which is crazy because i didn't think my makeup was gonna take that long but i'm so glad that i started at the time i did because boo that would have been fucking i mean freaking crazy like
All right, hold on. Y'all got to bite at the same time. Count three. One, two, three. What is it? <laughs> All right, y'all. We just made it home. It's been a long day. Why are you trying to follow him? He want to get in the camera so bad. That's what we're at. <sighs> How you feel, baby? So I could be a good role model too. Feel me? Watching his son just know. I forgot to show y'all my outfit. And the light is not lighting right now. Thank y'all for watching today. All the way at the end of the video. About to close out this vlog. See y'all next time.